or onward to uh, the next topic, which is we're going to now, going back to our diagram of these applications, we're going to go one more level of detail. So we just uh, finished talking a little bit about what these three tiers are, and now we're going to look inside the application server uh, into the model view controller. So what's model view controller? It's a way of organizing applications that are user facing, right? And it's a really simple concept. Uh, the idea is that you separate the data and the things that operate on the data, right? The, or what uh, in the enterprise world some people call the business logic from the user interface and the presentation by introducing a controller that mediates between them. So in, in the web world, uh, the idea is that uh, the view is the thing that the user interacts with, right? So your browser is going to display stuff that would be, here's a view, notice my little document icon. Uh, whenever you do an interaction, like clicking on something, there's a controller that is responsible for receiving that interaction. The controller has access to one or more models that is sort of where the action is, right? The, the models are the data and the, the things that your app actually does. The vast majority of that code is in the model. Um, and the dotted arrow is to suggest that although the view ultimately is going to display data coming from the models, in general, the communication is not direct. It is indirect, right? The controller gets a request from the user. It asks the model to do some things and maybe provide some data, and it makes that data available back to the view. Um, and then the view is what gets sent back to your web browser. Now, um, one uh, easy criticism of a software engineering course is that software is sort of a lifetime craft. Part of a lifetime craft is understanding that there's many ways to solve a problem. Uh, and in software engineering, that sort of comes under the general heading of software architecture. What is the large scale architecture of your application and why is it that and not something else? Model view controller is one way of architecturally describing the growth structure of a SaaS app. Um, and it might seem that, you know, because the web is sort of obviously model view controller, right? The views, well, those are web pages. The controller, well, something has to happen when you click on a web page. Uh, but in fact, there's other alternatives. So we'll talk about alternatives in a moment, but let's start with the one that we're actually using. Uh, in the model view controller pattern, um, as it's implemented in Rails and many other apps, uh, each entity or each type of thing that the app manipulates has a model, a controller, and usually a set of associated views. So for example, uh, in the Rotten Potatoes example in the book, the most obvious type of model is a movie. Movies have things like ratings and titles and popularities, but we can imagine also adding moviegoers, another kind of thing that your app might want to talk about. We can imagine talking about reviews, but of course a review doesn't make sense unless it's somehow associated with the moviegoer who wrote it, as well as with the movie that it's about. So there are multiple kinds of models, but as we'll see, there's ways that you establish relationships among them. And when you're uh, accessing a site like Rotten Potatoes, or Rotten Tomatoes, which it's based on, uh, you might be viewing a page about a particular movie. That means probably that interaction is handled by the movie's controller. Uh, you might be viewing a page about a review, and although the interaction is handled by the review's controller, the review's controller uh, will have to rely on the fact that the review model can talk to the other models. So just because there's a separate entity uh, or a separate model per type of entity doesn't mean that they're all sort of siloed, right? The, the models, in fact, uh, often do talk to each other. There we go. So having seen that, what would be an alternative? What's a different organization if model view controller doesn't make sense? Well, a much lighter weight framework uh, called Sinatra that I started checking out uh, a few months ago uh, uses a slightly different pattern called page controller. The idea here is if your app really only does a small number of things and each thing that it does can kind of be encapsulated on a single web page from the user experience point of view, why not just organize the app so that each page has its own controller and the controller just knows how to deliver that page and that's all it does. And you know, typically the mapping from a controller to a view will be one to one. Um, there's probably a bunch of different models because a single page might require input from multiple types of entities, uh, but the structure of the app is you know, more like this. Uh, another alternative might be if you've done uh, J2EE servlet programming called the front controller. There's one thing that receives every single incoming request and kind of has to figure out how to dispatch it, right? So it can talk to a bunch of models uh, and it probably also has to figure out which of various page views are going to be generated as a result of doing that. Uh, but the gross structure is there's one place in the code that you look to see what happens when a URI is incoming. What do I do with that? Whoops. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and a third, you know, if you've used PHP before, uh, in PHP the controller is essentially implicit. You don't tend to write separate controller code. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the, the sort of PHP uh, evolution is that you write a bunch of HTML pages and you embed PHP code into them. 
Um, now, of course, if you're a good programmer, you also try to separate that, some of that code out into their own PHP files. Uh, but in general, the, the view of the world from these kind of apps is there's a bunch of views that are supported, and those views rely on logic in models in order to fill in stuff into the HTML templates. So again, the message here is we're going to do model view controller. Rails supports model view controller. We're going to be working primarily with apps that are well structured that way, but architecture is all about alternatives. And in fact, there's other architectures such as these three, which are examples of maybe a dozen uh, from the enterprise patterns, uh, enterprise architectural patterns um, from, uh, that's mentioned in the book by Martin Fowler. Uh, and depending on the app you're doing, these may be a better fit. In fact, in a recent, uh, I think on the last lecture, I showed you guys an example of my clipper card, you know, scrape all this stuff from the clipper card site and display it back to the web. I wrote that as a Sinatra app. It also does one other thing, which I'll show you later today. It has to do with faculty members' obsession with filthy lucre. <laughs> 